Six Black Lives Matter murals were created from the civil unrest around George Floyd's murder, and it received national attention. But after a year, they've seen better days. KSHB reporter Megan Abundas talked with one of the artists to find out what's next. If you're driving around Kansas City, it's likely you've seen one of six Black Lives Matter street murals. They were painted just one year ago. Their condition isn't what it used to be, but artists say there's a plan to restore them back to life, but they say it should not take away from their original meaning. <laughs> It wasn't just because we were all getting together to have a good time. There was really a message of community and a message of the fact that, you know, black lives matter out here. Vivian Blewett and her son look back to just one year ago at Blewett's design on 63rd and Brookside Boulevard. It was almost magical, just the amount of people who wanted to help. Hundreds of volunteers showed up to make six large murals. While Blewett's name is still on the asphalt, the paint is cracked and faded. They look a little worn today. Cars, rain, snow, sun, it's certainly weathered all six murals. But Blewett will tell you it's done nothing to dilute the meaning. In my head, in my opinion, the message is still strong. And wants it to remain with others, too. Sometimes, especially when enough time has passed, it's easy to forget why this is important and why we're doing this. When people drive by here, I want them not to ever miss or forget the names that are in the middle of the street. And her message to those who want to help repaint? Stand by and be ready. The plan is to repaint them this spring, make them all fresh, and they say it's going to take some money to do that. If you remember last year, they were privately funded, so they're starting the fundraising efforts right now. There's a link on KSHB.com. In Brookside, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.